what happens when 800 of the world's most elite football players pause the season halfway through to go to the world's biggest football tournament? Players stop being polite and start getting heated. This is the champions of the world. This is it, Leo, our last chance to win the World Cup. You mean my last chance to win the World Cup. Yours was in 2018. We're here to put Engerland on top of the map. Do you mean on the map? Like on the map of England behind you? That's England? Is that what a map looks like? And why are you here? I just genuinely love this country and their vibrant football culture. Hello, I'd just like to take this opportunity to remind everyone about the Champions League. England in our group, this is gonna be exactly like the American Revolution, which we just learned about in a documentary on the plane ride over here. We're back in the World Cup, and this time we are going all the way. Hopefully to the quarterfinal. Oh, oh, wow. oh Danny Kane, thank you. Well, if it isn't my old friends from Ghana. Haven't seen you guys since 2010. No hard feelings, right? Here, let me give you a hand. Gentlemen! How are my favorite cash cows? I mean players. Was the flight nice? I don't care. Here, let me point you towards your accommodations. It's right behind you, isn't it? Oh, this mansion? No, no, no. This is for our corporate sponsors. Your mansion is over there. It's tiny, but when you consider we built it in one night, it's actually very impressive. Whoa, I'd love to know how you pulled that off. Someone should do some long-form investigative journalism about that. <laughs> Absolutely not. Anyways, you're gonna love it there. Every group gets their own room. Wait, we have to share? Oh, come on. I think sharing. Oh, man, I think I'm gonna be sick. Do the corporate sponsors have to share? Of course not. They're the most important people here. Terrible kids, but we'll be leaving with the World Cup. Here, here. Golden generation, let's go! Yeah, yeah. all right, woohoo! <laughs> These Americans are quite confident for a team whose captain roars the bench at his club. Pew, pew, pew! <laughs> Two points for Gryffindor! Boy, settle down! Clean sheet is no Morris. Give it, it's not funny. You dude, who puts vinegar on their fries? They're called chips. And you're one to talk. Who drinks like that? It's called a keg stand, bro. It's a form of art. Chug, 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 chug. So what's it like being stuck with the English and the Americans? Honestly, we're just happy to be here. Attention, Group B! Clearly, we are all feeling the strain of a cramped space. So in the interest of peace, I think it's best we divvy up the room. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Are you going to tell us what we can and can't do in our section like you do back home? Dividing up territory that doesn't belong to you is not cool. Yeah, bro. Maybe I can help. I've been embedded amongst the Americans for some time now and have managed to pick up a bit of their language. <clears throat> Sup fam, no cap, I'm him. Please, good luck getting through to them. They use Fahrenheit. Actually, your teams have more in common than you think. You're both full of exciting young talent, but your women's teams are way better and much more likable. Neither of you is going to win the World Cup, and frankly, you're both a bit annoying. Don't be ridiculous, everyone loves English football. No, everybody loves the Premier League. You guys, not so much. You weren't even invited to the favorites party. Uh, favorites party? Yeah, Brazil always throws a big party for all the tournament favorites. Balderdash! England have been to many major tournaments, and I've never heard of a favorites party. Awkward. You can do it, Neymar! Two more, and you break it! Oh, oh. 
So, uh, how's Europa League? F you. Hey! You. You guys had a favorites party and didn't invite us? Wait, why is Canada here? Hey, man. Canada's cool. Wow, what a harsh L to take. This was supposed to be an American Revolution, but it feels like a Great Depression. We don't want to be in your stupid party anyway! And you spelled favorites wrong! They're supposed to be a U! Holy shit, we are annoying. Can't get enough of the champions? Me neither! Which is why I suckered Bleacher Report into giving me my own talk show! Tune into Champions Chat on December 2nd, where I'll be covering the world's biggest football tournament! You won't want to miss this the way Egypt missed qualifications! Oh no, the lasers are back!